when I think of the many elements that can impact a lifting operation, there's a bunch of them, but there are some key ones that really sort of come to mind that people should be considering. A successful lift begins with good planning, right? It's like the old adage, you know, goes fail to plan, plan to fail. And so this plan is very important. And the plan needs to be developed by qualified personnel who understands the hazards that are involved in lifting operations. And these may be a little bit more than what maybe a contractor normally does. Um, maybe it's a subcontracted operation. So in those situations, you know, I would encourage those contractors that are having subs to do it to review the lift plan with their sub to help ensure that the plan is complete. You know, things that maybe that general contractor knows that maybe the sub didn't know, that way these hazards can actually be, you know, addressed. You know, we can ensure that the plan is complete in that situation. You know, the next thing I guess that comes to mind is I would encourage contractors to provide their management personnel, which includes the supervisory staff as well as safety staff, some training on crane operations. And I sort of mentioned that earlier. You know, they had brought up a good point. After an accident, you don't want a jury looking back and going, wow, that contractor lacked expertise. Wow, they attempted to do something that maybe they hadn't actually trained their staff for. And then there's also that execution piece. And the lift plan needs to be executed by a team that understands those risks. And not only understands the risk, but how best to mitigate those risks. Realizing that things can actually change out in the field. And so having a process they had talked about having a process about how you're going to deal with those changes. Um, you know, that's also important. But back to that team, think of cranes as having a team of individual, many roles involved, roles from a site supervisor to a lift director. to you know, the, of course, the obvious ones, you know, the operator, the signal person, the rigger, you know, those are the ones that people focus on, but maybe we miss some of the other. So, you know, contractors should verify that their crews have received the appropriate training before allowing those lifting operations to begin.